John walked through the hallway of the house with uh, with the old man, <coughs> and the old man hobbling along, and John wandering behind at a pace he found irritatingly slow, but he couldn't say anything because it's rude to be rude to old people, which he thought didn't make sense because it's rude to everyone, which startled him because he was then asked a question by the man. Um, the man said, what's your name? What are your name? What is your name? And John said, John, which was sensible. He had a quick look around. Everything was clocks. Everything. On, there were grandfather clocks, there were little clocks, there were watches. He didn't know if watches were f fell under the name of clocks. John felt he should say something after, else after he'd said his name was John. So he held up his watch, his pocket watch, that he brought along to be valued. And he said, uh, I, I, will, will you value this for me? And the man said, well, what do you think I'd let you into the house for? Of, of course I'll do it for you. You haven't asked my name. And, and John thought about it, and he w the man was quite right. He hadn't, so he said, well, sorry, um, well, well, what's your name? Bernard, said the old man, who we now know is called Bernard. And he pointed in the direction of the door. John hesitated for a moment, not quite sure, and then realised that, of course, the man was just pointing in the direction he wanted him to go. And so John wandered in. He ruminated for a second on the fact that you can't think properly when you're nervous and you do stupid things like not recognising that someone pointing at a door what means they want you to walk through it. And then he was thinking about the fact that the reason he probably didn't realise things like that was because he was too busy thinking things like this and not concentrating on the matter in hand. Which was appropriate because he's clicked right back into the world where he was. He looked at Bernard and he said, so what do you think it's worth? And handed him the watch. Bernard took it and looked at it. He didn't say anything. John felt he should say something. So he said, you do value watches, right? Which was a stupid thing to say because there were, as I've already said, clocks were everywhere. Of course I do watches, said Bernard. You are a uh, singular young man. John thought this probably wasn't a compliment. But again, you can't be rude to old people. So uh, he sat down on a chair, but then wasn't sure if he should have sat down. So almost went to sit up again, but then thought that was equally stupid. Which Bernard clearly thought too, because he said, Oh, for goodness sake, just sit down, relax, my boy, I'm not going to bite your head off. Yes, I do value watches. This is a very nice watch. This is a very, very nice watch. Where did you get it? Um, it was my grandfather's, John lied. I see, said Bernard nodding carefully to himself, and picking up what John was assumed was coffee. He took a slurp. It was irritatingly loud and quite disgusting. But you can't be rude to old people. Well, it's worth about... Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. The knocking at the door was very insistent, and had stopped Bernard right in the middle of his sentence. Bernard looked out the window. Aren't you going to answer that? said John. No, said Bernard, which was an unusual answer. Come with me, John did. They walked out of the living room through a door that John had never realised that was there in the first place, because it looked like a bookcase. This led to a corridor which was much more sparsely designed than the rest of the house he'd seen so far. There were no clocks for a start. It looked almost like it was originally a servant's passage. Bernard, for, with impressive speed for someone who was still hobbling, pushed open an old side door. They went through it. They went round to a small, battered-looking garage, which Bernard opened with a little electric remote. What are we doing? said John. I'll explain in the car, said Bernard, with irritating confidence. <laughs>